and basically we finished digging potatoes and we, kept, we, and we wanted a pint so we came around the corner um, and the pub was shut and I turned to the people in the car and said well, shall we buy it? And it states that we're not allowed to brew ale or have a house of ill repute. Yeah, the, the parsnips, yeah, they come in, yeah, we, we bring them in because they're um, rejected from uh, Tesco's and things like that, so they're funky veg. Oh, you, you, hey, there's you, two Yorkshiremen here, actually. Right? Yeah, no, no, take two Yorkshiremen on, no problem. <laughs> Pubs, we are losing them at an alarming rate in the United Kingdom. Now, I've documented this on my channel. Where I live, within a few miles, there's about 10, 12 maybe, abandoned pubs decaying. A glimpse of how they once were hubs of community spirit. Not long ago, I got an email from someone saying, hey David, don't know if you're interested in this, maybe you want to make a video about it, but we've just bought the local pub. We've bought it back. We were going to lose it. It was probably going to get redeveloped into housing. And we've all got together and bought it as a co-op. So I've headed down here to Suffolk and to the White Horse, which has been bought back by the local community. And I'm so buzzing to hear the story, meet the people that have done it, and just figure out what's going on really, because yeah, it's a long way from Yorkshire. This is absolutely what I love, people keeping pubs alive. It's what we really need. And I'm about to meet the guy who emailed me, a fella called Thomas. So I've got no idea what's gonna go on today. I don't have a clue who these people are, but yeah, hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. It's very unplanned, this video. And I think this is Thomas here. Hey. Hello, mate. Hey, Tom. <laughs> nice to meet you. Really nice to meet you. I've just been doing introductions, just kind of looking around. It looks yeah. like a lovely pub. Yeah, it mate, is. Beautiful. It is. So I'm getting the first tour of the pub now. Oh, this is banging. We own it. You own it? Yes. You properly own it? Yeah. Oh, mate, that's so good. Yeah, oh, you got a pool table. What sure. the heck? Oh, I absolutely love it. So when, when was the completion then? Friday. Friday it completed? Friday, uh, 4 o'clock and 45 minutes or so. No way. Yeah. And it's yours? Yeah. Oh, wow. I can't wait to hear more about it. I'll just give it a little tour. Yeah. I'm really excited to hear the whole story of how it's happened, how it's come about. you got a band room as well. Sure. Literally, this is mega. Oh, I love it so much. Piano as well. Yeah. Buzzing. So I've just met Thomas. He's told me 60 people have come together to get the pub and they've officially got it on Friday. Now the pub doesn't open until six o'clock tonight. I'm hoping to hear about it all throughout the day. So I'm just gonna let Thomas show me around, see where we end up. I've got no plans, see what happens. You are the, the young brewer of the pub. I'm, I'm a brewer, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's my, uh, my profession. I heard about what was going on here and I got involved in the land. And then subsequently uh, we spotted the pub and we got uh, AVC asset values to the community and we spent the last two years working our asses off and we've arrived. It's amazing. We now own a pub and we're going to get all the work done on it and we're going to build the brewery around the back. Are oh, you going to have a brewery on site as yes, well? Yes, we are going to be a brew pub. Oh my God. That is, that that is, is the long term, yeah, that yeah. is what I'm here for. Hey, mate, you all right? Hello. I'm David. Brian. What's your name, Brian? Yeah. Nice to meet you, mate, you all right? Yeah, so one of the interesting things with the due diligence we had to do was um, we had to produce an organogram, you know, like a flowchart of who's involved and what the responsibilities are. And it turns out there are 53 volunteers in and around the pub. And of that, 50 of them are local. And when you're talking about a couple of hundred houses, that's a hell of a lot of um, participation. Yeah. Because normally in a community project, you would get 1% of that of people locally involved, you know. But this is like every other household. You know? <laughs> yeah, every, everyone wants it. While it manifested with a piece of land and some limited market gardening and protection and conservation and, uh, of nature as a starting point, our vision I think had always encompassed having a barn or a space to gather and that would, in, you know, and that would include hot, you know, hot water, possibly showers, space for tea and coffee, shelter from inclement weather, but possibly even having a beer, a space to perform, tell stories and and listen to music, that kind of thing. Having just, just described that, it sounds a bit like a pub to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it fulfills the same pur purpose. But you're right, we didn't start with, well, let's buy a pub. I mean, mm. that was not really in our plans. And it was mostly that we finished digging potatoes one day. And this was my local as a lad. And uh, you know, I grew up uh, two miles away. I learned to play pool here. Uh, many, many a misspent time in my youth drinking beer here. And basically, we finished digging potatoes, and we, kept, we, and we wanted a pint, so we came around the corner, um, and the pub was shut. And I turned to the people in the car and said, well, shall we buy it? 
So I was really intrigued to see this bit of land that everyone kept talking about. And they'd called it iFarm. And this is where the community began. They first bought these 10 acres. And then from that went, why don't we buy the pub? So the trees beyond are ours. So what you can see here, going round the corner, is half the site. And then the other half is flooded, wet woodland. So that, that's the 10 acres, basically, like nine of it. But on our deeds, we have this thing where it's, we've got a covenant. So on this track here, even to this side of the track, is a covenant from the Church of England and it states that we're not allowed to brew ale or have a house of ill repute. <laughs> on this side of the field. Only on that side. Which means... <laughs> <laughs> yes. But then the other thing is that the, um, the bottom of the field there, that's the little lose. So we're now in Norfolk, that's Suffolk. No way. Okay. Oh, so where's that? The, the, the bottom of the field there. Oh, so that's, that's literally into Suffolk there? Yeah, yeah. That's the border. Wow. Okay. Weirdly enough, no passport control. Where the street is, so we are not directly on the street, but uh, maybe 10 meters or 15 meters yeah. away. But uh, we once tried to go through, and it took uh, I think three hours or so. Yeah, no. to travel um, we, we 500 got, yards, yeah. and we got lost and had to put a drone up. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know what direction we were facing. No way. Because yeah. it's all fallen trees and yeah, and I mean it's so dense, leads. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Because Mark's a brewer, and the scale he's at. We only need like 20, 24 he um, hop vines. Yeah. And that's all the hops he needs for a year. Right, okay, so you can get that here as well. Yeah. And so I love to stay in this one. When you wake up in the morning and the mist is coming and the birds are singing and so it's fa absolutely fantastic. I bet. So this is where you're staying at the moment? No, no, no. Oh. Uh, this is now condemned. Oh. <laughs> because the water actually was uh, uh, higher than uh, the floor. Oh, no. no? So. <laughs> It's, uh, it's gone. <laughs> so the, no more misty mornings for you there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sad. Yeah. So, but at some point we want to build also here a kind of higher structure. Yeah. Recognising a need for, um, for the community. I mean, it would be a real shame if it was shut. And it soon becomes something, you know, greater than us kind of thing. Mm. It was, there was a stated need and lots of, lots of people stepped forward and expanded that community and expanded, you know, our, our reach. Yeah, no, it was fantastic to find it and actually like realise that there was a place that we could use. We were playing in here before it was all set up and, and having the stage set up really just, just made it come together. Oh, man. And that was another member of our community as well who ended up bringing that round as well, wasn't it? Um, local music venue, the Apex in Barry St Edmunds. Oh, cool. They, they like, we got the stuff off of them. Yeah, it was torn out, torn out, yeah. brief, going to be thrown away. Yeah. And as one of our sort of friends of the pub patrons, sound yeah. engineer, was like, can we just come and install this for you? And we were like, yeah. Wow. And I went, away, I, I went away for a couple of days and I came back and we've got a stage, we've got lights, yeah. we've got a PA. Yeah, the hurdles were mainly uh, that as so often you have in these uh, communities, property prices are very high uh, because people from London, uh, where you have a bubbled up market and can buy here a big ex estate for, that, for the same price, which means in, uh, on the other hand, that local people are not able to afford anything here. Uh, bid was 245,000. Then we got outbid uh, by 30,000 um, pounds by someone who actually wanted to turn this into a housing. No, we don't want to lose this asset in the community. We, we need that. No? A pub is a beating heart of a community and it's very important that this is not destroyed by speculative uh, measures. Mm. And it's a, it's a unfortunately very profitable way to put your five houses on you buy this things this uh, land for 245 with five houses uh, it's no, financially a no-brainer but it destroys the communities no well that won't fit me no. no too small for me but yeah, yeah so yeah i mean or even the where's I the mean, other hat gone? i mean oh well i popped it on the table just oh. to put stuff on the table oh. but even yes. these on the wall well, i mean it would, be, it would be lovely you know once i think i mentioned about the pub I said, we've got a defunct pub and it's going to be turned into a house and it's in a terrible state. And that was it. It would take someone like iFarm a non to, to, to bring a pub like this yeah. back from the dead. It's a public house. Mm -hmm. It's a house where yeah. anybody can go in and feel at home and just be comfortable in. And that's actually how it's turned out. Yeah. I think that's quite unusual these days to have something that comes back from... 
back from the dead into something that works yeah. for the community. Thank God. This is wonderful. This is just what we need in this village. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. And they've been brilliant. This is it, man. This is it. I mean, literally everything that I've ever wanted is right here in front of me. Yeah. Like this is this is it. I have a we we have a space that we can utilize whenever we want to. Like the people here are so hospitable, they're so kind. It's the only place I've actually been able to play drums. As any other drummer will understand, you cannot play drums for very long without someone telling you to turn down, without someone telling you to shut up. But here, they want you to play louder. Like it's encouraged. Rather than someone saying, hang on, it's like, like yeah. cut it out, you know what I mean? Like, like it's, it's, a, it's a huge thing to have some encouragement with that because yeah. that's just a rarity now. I mean, for the band, for the music, for what we've been doing right now, it's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just been huge. Like, and the, you build momentum as you go. To protect and swerve. And in really small writing, it says not in service. If you're familiar with the lore of this channel, if you've been around, if you've seen a few of my vids, you'll know that I don't plan anything. I leave it all completely just up to what I find on the day. Now in the pub last night, I was losing a bit of money to this guy playing pool and then he makes me another bet, he says, heads or tails, you lose, you stay down for another night and I thought, oh go on, I'll take that. Heads I'm down, I'm oh, here, staying Friday? I'll be here Friday, oh, there we go. Oh wow, Friday, I mean Friday night's a good thing, so yeah, yeah. it'll be great to see you. And so I'm here for another night, now I have no idea where I am. I'm trying to find the pub at the moment, but uh, yeah, luckily someone in the pub last night, and I did need it because I was like, God, it's actually really late now and I've had too many beers, but someone said, oh, you can stay at our house. So they put me up at their beautiful house and I've just been staying there and yeah, off to find the pub now. But already what I've realised, and I thought it was all just going to be about a pub, I'd come down and see these people have bought a pub, but the pub is just a tiny offshoot of this incredible community that exists down here and I feel so part of it already such incredible people so yeah day two them lads that I met they're playing tonight at the pub so I'll be able to see them in action I've done it I found the pub again day two we're still here how long are we going to end up at this pub oh, I love it and I know of like most of all the pubs in like Norfolk Suffolk and since Covid I've been like sort of keeping an eye on certain places making sure none of them are like closing down and stuff and it came, it came to my attention in 2021 that this place was still marked as temporarily closed. Looked into it and I found that there was a village website campaigning to save a pub, so I thought I'd follow it, keep an eye on events and stuff, maybe pop in. But then they mentioned something about a piano, and obviously I quite like old pianos. So I went looking for like a suitable antique piano and I came across this one up for sale for 140 quid in this antique shop. Wow. That's no longer there, sadly, but lovely little place. And was it really out of tune? Yes, it was a perfect fourth below pitch, so C would be G. So you tuned it up and that, and then you brought, you got it here and, and now it's a feature. Yeah, so I got, I got candlesticks for it and eventually found this. I still need to restore it, hook it up, but this one hasn't been perfect. I've had, recently had to change the tennis strings on it. Yeah, I mean, it's been wonderful. Cool. Do you want to, do you want to play something? Yeah, I'd, I'd sure. Love to, I'd love to hear you play. Yeah. Play one of two things that I know, I suppose. Yeah. I think what is what is especially good is all the different people you would never met in your life without having this kind of focal uh, point no? where people coming in from all walks of life so you, you would never be able to, to meet them when, when you come here on a on a Monday morning the the elderly generation come here for for tea and coffee meet up Mondays there's such a lovely crowd and uh, they have all stories to tell and uh, they have their most of their life, lives behind them, and what's a treasure trove of, uh, of knowledge and uh, of experience. Mm -hmm. no? And uh, I, I think I, f I feel 
quite uh, honored to be part of it, to be honest. No? Also, it's, it's, it's good. Feels good. It must be a nice feeling. It must be good yeah. to be able to sip a pint in your pub. Yeah. And soon we brew our own beer here. <laughs> yeah, that'll be amazing. That'll yeah. be amazing. Are you normally doing this job then? Seems like the best one. <laughs> Someone has to do it, yeah. yeah. I think we can unleash that up here. <laughs> I just felt it was the nicest pub in the area. I've known a few more owners than uh, Stuart, but uh, basically yeah. some of them have been good, some of them have been bad, but it's always been hard to make a village pub work yeah. as a village pub because if you try and make it into a gastro pub, you've got to be really, really upmarket and have very few people and charge an awful lot of money and mm. hope they're going to come back often enough. And then the local people will come. Mm. And then the local people won't come because everything's too expensive. Yeah. Or you make it too cheap and it's, and it's not viable. Yeah. But if you knock out the fact that you haven't got an owner taking 25000 and a manager taking 30000 I was very concerned that it, there would be something turn up and you know unforeseen circumstances that threw a bloody wobbly in it because quite a lot of people work quite hard to make this happen david what was your name on it it is my name yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You even have a badge i know it's good <laughs> say i get you on there let me get around in here let me get you both on. Okay. Really like unusual thing. A Yorkshireman getting around in the recording. Oh, oh, hey, there's two Yorkshiremen here, actually. Oh, so I'm going to take two Yorkshiremen on. No problem. <laughs> What's the definition of a Scotsman? A Yorkshireman who's tight. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, man. Love me. What do I do is work? Yeah, yeah. I'm a truck driver and a farmer. Yeah, I know the land very well. All the land around this pub I know because I farm. Um, I try my best to farm it. It's a bit wet at the moment, but I do my best to farm it. <laughs> Yeah, the, the parsnips, yeah, they come in. Yeah, we, we bring them in because they're um, rejected from uh, Tesco's and things like that. So they're funky veg. Oh, funky veg. So rather than take a loss in them, we just bring down the pub and then all the old girls and the blokes, retired blokes, they can uh, sort themselves out and they uh, knock themselves out Betty. Yeah. You know, you, you see the smile on the people's faces. They have bingo night or um, uh, like, kind of like mother's meet and all the girls are in the late 60s, 70s. And I bring them a box of uh, firewood and a box of parsnips. And the smile on their face is just absolutely priceless. It only cost me, I don't know, 10, 10 quid in fuel, but the smile is priceless. Yeah. Yeah, there's just everyone, they all say, oh, thank you very much. And every now and then, an old girl, she bakes a cake kind of thing, which is much appreciated, especially when you're sitting at home in this bit of cold weather. Yeah. It's fantastic, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Thank you for everything you've done, Yeah, thank you for everything you do and you've done. Thank you. And now we get to see him put the black. No. <laughs> what you have to remember is, once you've lost something, it's ever so hard to get it back. If we hadn't managed to do this, if we hadn't managed to strike a deal with the previous landlord, the previous sure. owner, in what, six months this would have all been, it would have been gone. Yeah. Because there's no doubt it's worth fortune as two building plots. Yeah. You won't do it if you haven't got people who've got enthusiasm and who people who who want to them, so you need people who've got time and energy and, and belief. But it, it's getting everybody involved, and if you don't get yeah, everybody involved, oh, I do. Alright, John, you're making you make us feel cool, this, John. What? You make us feel cool. It is cold. You get to know everybody yeah. that's here, and it's just like meeting your friends in your living room. Really. Yeah. Also, be as far yeah. your honest, sonsy face, great chieftain, all oh, that yeah. hunting race. Boon ye and tack your place, pains triper therum, wheel, and ye's worthy of a grace as long as my ear. That'll do you. Oh, all right, thank you so much. <laughs> it's still sinking in, to be fair, because this has been a three year labour of love. Two years operating the pub and kind of building the community and operating the place. One year campaigning just to get the keys, you know. Yeah. So a three year labour of love and um, culminating in actually, again, the community rallying around. And we couldn't have done this without community shares yeah. and community investment. And just to see that happen and see that happen in such a short space of time and literally our patrons and our community and and volunteers at the pub putting the money where the mouth is yeah. and saying we do not want to we do not want to lose this space yeah. and witnessing how much they value the space has been a thing of beauty and yeah it feels while it feels a little different it's so new it's i think it's still sinking in with yeah. me wow we've actually done a thing mm.
you know. You've done a thing. A we've, done thing. A, we've, we've done We've done a thing, yeah. And, we, and we've now got 10 acres of land and a pub. Yeah, you seem like a guy who has an idea and you follow through with it. <laughs> yeah. Is that a fair, a fair assumption? <laughs> yeah, I get shit done. Hey, I'll make you well. It is a nice little community. You've got to think there's people from three villages away that all come to this pub. So it's a, it's a fairly nice, tight pub. Lots of the pubs around here, a bit like your area, they're all closed down, they're all closed up. And as you see tonight, it's fairly busy. You've had a band playing tonight and all sorts, haven't you? Yeah, man. Yeah. Sometimes we had a burger van around front. We'll have Thai, we'll have uh, Indian or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we get fish chips just down the road. So it's all, it's all local support. You've got to think we're not supporting any big um, companies kind of thing. That's all local businesses. Yeah. You know, including myself, which is quite nice. Yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> if we were to be locked down again, where would I choose? Who would I choose to be with? And what would I choose to be doing? Mm. And I've found that here in this, in, by building community. You know, I would, I, would be, I would choose to be locked down on a piece of land with a pub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With, um, you know, a community that really cares for one another. Uh, we need a space where we can come together and... Uh, celebrate and uh, have parties and invite people and some of us also live there. It took us three years now uh, and since last Friday uh, we are the official owners of this premises. It's nice not relying on anyone else. They've got a little farm down here and they've got their own veg they grow and then if they want any manure they come to me, if they want any firewood they come to me and it's all sort of locally sourced. All the, all the community, all the villages, they've always all put their own share of money in so that everyone owns a little share out of it kind of thing. Yeah. But that, what, that's what makes it a nice community pub, yeah. you know? Can I give you the hair reveal? Oh, I don't know about that. You gotta buy me a beer, I'll, are I'll you? I'll get you a find, You get yeah, right I I Yeah, I'll give you a hair reveal, man. There you go. That. How's that? How's that for a mop? This pub represents something. It's increasingly hard to find nowadays. Uh, I, I'm of course biased because they let me come here and noodle away yeah, and yeah. sit in the corner and just write tunes and jam. More interesting people here than I found in a lot of places. That real sense of kinmanship, you know, almost family. And while look, if you like alcohol, you like alcohol, if you don't like it, you don't like it. Regardless of that, it is the heart of a community. If, if you come to the White Horse, miles around, serenity, beautiful open fields, it's amazing. It means the world to me, man. It really does. It really does. Like all these people here, like I love them. Like, I've known them for a, for like maybe a few years. You know, so interacted with them whenever we're at the pub. But I know them as well as as well as any other friend of mine, and I'm I'm really grateful for that. You know what I mean? And that's that's uh, that's special in whatever way, shape, or form, man. And we just need the space to allow it to happen. And that's that that's what's going to count. And that's what's going to move people forward and do shit. And I'm, I'm so, so grateful for what we got here. It really is, it really is special for what we got. So I'm back in Yorkshire now, back at my favourite pub, the Fox and Goose, which is a cooperatively owned pub. A really, really good pub in the area that I live. I love it so much. And it's a few weeks later and I'm just kind of thinking back to my time down at the White Horse pub and just what happened. And I've got to say it was the most fun I've ever had whilst making a video. It really, really was. I was blown away by the community. And it's got me thinking more and more about community and my life and how much community do I really have around me. And in this day and age, we're, we're led to believe that community doesn't really exist anymore and everyone's fending for themselves. You're out on your own. Be that for the young people trying to find a purpose, something to do, or, or the old people who just want a friend, just want someone to talk to, to get rid of that isolation. And I found all of that down at the White Horse. I really did. And I've just got to say, as I'm finishing the video, the sun has come out, that is absolutely lovely. But yeah, being reminded that community does really exist and hearing the stories from all the people from that band who were just encouraged to play, them lads that really talented musicians who were just saying, yeah, you can come here, you can play whenever you want. And they're getting so, so good. They're gonna be absolutely class. Can't wait to see where them guys go. To the older generation, the people that just come on the Mondays for meet up Mondays where they can just have tea, coffee, just chat to each other. It's so, so wonderful to see. And so amazing to just hear about how they do everything so locally as well with that bit of land. 
where they grow their own food. Oh, it was amazing. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who shared their stories with me, shared their jokes with me, shared the music with me, shared their home with me, literally gave me a bed for two nights and said, oh, you can just crash here. To everyone who told me about the work, what they do, how they help each other down there. It really, really was a beautiful experience. And I can go on waxing lyrical about this, this time, but really all that happened was I went to the pub. I got invited to the pub. Thomas went, I wonder if the wandering turnip would want to come for a pint. And I went, yeah, sure, why not? And I headed down there and that was pretty much it. But it's a pub where they're not letting community spirit die. It's built on community. They started with the land and went, you know what, we can save that pub. And from that place, we can do so, so much more for so many different people. And it really, really was amazing to see. And I feel so lucky that I've been a little part of it. And I hope this video as well will bring more customers to them. Because if you are ever passing Suffolk or Norfolk, as it's right on the border between the two, go and visit the White Horse. I'll link in the description where it is. It's an absolutely class pub and you will guaranteed to meet some characters, get chatting to people, just like a pub should be. And also to that band. Now, when I was making the video with them, they didn't have a name. And I said, look guys, by the time this video comes out, you have to have a name. And they've just messaged me. So please, I don't care if you subscribe to my channel from this video, but what you should do is go over to their Instagram. They're called Bookshop Boudoir. And I'll link it all below. Go show them some love give them some likes, listen to the music because they genuinely are class. It was absolutely amazing and I really hope that I can just support them as well and do my little part as a member of the community now as I really feel like I am. I've spoken about this idea before in another video I did about pubs but I said that I think I was just a bit too young to experience pubs in the heyday before the internet when everyone just gathered there and it really really was the place to be and I feel like I just missed that. However, I feel like I absolutely found it at the White Horse down in Suffolk that's what a pub is and i've got no idea how this video will end up but what i hope it feels like is that maybe you've just been to the pub i hope it just feels like going to the pub so thank you so much for watching go and follow bookshop boudoir on instagram if you're ever down there go visit that pub and yeah i hope you've enjoyed it nice one oh support your local pub support your good local pub they're about find them nice one